Yo, what's going on? Eric Wong here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you a little trick that I use myself. It's a little technique tip, it's not a trick per se, but it's a little tip that I use to quickly add uh, 10 pounds to my best, personal best clean and jerk. So I weigh 165 pounds and previously my PC, PB was 165 pounds. Couldn't get above that, had some trouble. But once I integrated this technique, right away, bang, hit 175 pounds and only onwards and upwards from there. So the benefit of this is you're gonna save your wrists, you're gonna save energy, and obviously you're gonna be able to, uh, especially on the jerk portion, you're gonna be able to jerk out more weight. All right, it sounds kind of funny, you're gonna be jerk more weight, but anyway, let's do it. So what this is all about is in the transition between the clean and the jerk. So when you're on the way up from the clean, right before the jerk, okay? So typically when you do the clean, in the clean and jerk, you're gonna take the hook grip. So the hook grip is your thumbs are over top of the bar, or your fingers are over top of your thumbs, and then you grip the bar, not the standard thumbs over top of the fingers, okay? So the hook grip allows you to more freely rotate the bar in your hands as well as get a stronger grip on it. It might hurt a little bit at the start, but you gotta deal with that if you wanted to do it properly, okay? So you set up, you get down, set up, good to go. And then what I used to do on the clean is the typical clean grip on the way up. So I clean it, catch it, and then go up. You see how my fingers are just holding the bar on my shoulders? And then here I kind of shimmy around and adjust, and then I get into the jerk. Yeah, but what I learned is that you already use the momentum from on the way up with the leg strength to bounce up, change your grip right before you get to the top so that you don't have to fiddle and then change your grip when you're already there. So this is what it looks like. Pay attention to what my wrists are doing this time, okay? Now, set up. Right there. On the way up, I bounce it up, and now I'm ready to do the jerk. And I saved myself a lot of energy, not beating on my wrists as much, trying to, you know, when the weight's really heavy, you got, got to kind of shimmy under, you can strain your wrist, the outside of your wrist, the thumb there. Not doing that anymore, okay? So the key is the clean, nothing changes there. So cleaning the same way. It's right there, boom. Now I'm in position right away to do the jerk. All right, so there's your little tip to quickly add some numbers to your clean and jerk. If you weren't doing that before, it's gonna make a huge difference, okay? Because then you can still clean it, you can still catch the bar in the proper clean position, so you're not gonna beat your wrists up for those of you who catch it like this, that destroys your wrist, especially when the weights get heavy. So you're gonna be able to catch it on the shoulders like you are properly. And then on the way up, you bounce a little bit, switch your grip using the momentum that you generate from your legs. So you're saving that energy, you're saving that time too. Right away, right when you stand up, you're in position for the jerk, and then it's boom, up, okay? So there's your little Olympic lifting tip. Now. The Olympic lifts are amazing. They're so good for explosive power. They get your heart rate up. I only did like three reps there. Not even at a, a very heavy weight and I'm breathing a little bit heavy. And obviously, they're a lot of fun. A little more technical, so you gotta really focus. So if you wanna start doing the Olympic lifts, check out my Olympic lifting mastery program. Definitely help you to start off on the right foot and build your foundation with proper technique before adding weight. And if you already do the Olympic lifts, check it out as well because you can always improve, you can always clean up your technique just like I'm doing, okay? So that's it. Check that out at www.olympiclifting.net and you can follow along and I can guide you through the process to learn the Olympic lifts as quickly as possible, all right? So that's my video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk to you next time. Peace.